go. Once upon a time, in a colossal city, there lived a young adult by the name of Daniel Rader. She wasn't like any other adult. She lived in complete mystery. Some people knew her as the lonely girl whose parents died in a car accident on a rainy night. Some knew that she didn't really know who she was because she had lost her memory in the accident and wasn't going to get far in life. Many thought that she was weird and would not talk to anyone or come out of her house. She was mostly isolated from the world. Not many people wanted to interact with her when she did come out. Truth be told, she lived in a different reality than most. Life wasn't what it seemed and people are too quick to judge. That is why she rarely spoke to anyone in public. In this city, there held a dark secret. Daniela knew the reality of the secret and the rest of the population was blind. Yes, she doesn't have her memories and she lives alone and wanders in the house alone. But what most people doesn't realize is that her best friend is a truck by the name of Tyrus. Yes, a large machine, but not just any machine, one that keeps her company. In this city, there lives a hidden evil that wants to take over, but the evil is limited to the earth realm. A demon by the name of Iblis sets off during the night to capture wandering humans and transform their souls into demons to add to his power. Most nights, Iblis isn't so lucky to find lost souls because of the warning the city set out for people not to roam around at night past 8 p.m. If the demon doesn't expand his power, he would have no choice but to hide in the shadows forever. Until one night, Iblis came upon his lucky night. He set off a new minion named Witchcraft to help him find any roaming soul. The demon did everything it could to make people come out of their house or to get them to open his front door. He would even go knocking or scratching at the door to get their attention. Seeping out of the darkness, Illus came across a young man in the streets attending to a broken down truck and used his power to capture him. But the human knew who the demon was and ran for his life, but it was too late. Good night, Tyrus. What the demon didn't realize is that the human soul went into the truck, giving him a second chance to live. Days and nights passed. Daniela took a late night walk out of her neighborhood, knowing the dangers were out there. At one point in her life, she felt bored, but regretting it once she saw the demon witchcraft appear. She began to run home, but it was, it was now in her way. The devil took his time to put a curse on her. His attention was drawn away when a truck appeared coming to attack them. Hey you, leave that girl alone, the truck said, chasing the demons that disappeared instantly. Daniela didn't understand how the truck was able to move and talk on its own, but understood how it had turned. That's when she realized that life isn't what it seemed. There is more to it. Ever since the night, the truck became her only friend. At first she found it a bit weird to be talking to a truck, but knowing that it was a human soul mixed with a machine, it wasn't any different than any other human. She kept her friend a secret. If people found out, they would take him away or destroy him because they would consider it the devil's work. As time passed, the two got to know each other from day to day, and before they knew it, years had passed. Daniela's curse was becoming stronger and it made it easier for the demon to find her, but her power was also growing. The devil had created a replica of Tyrus to make things interesting in battle. Terrell was the evil truck's name and it was programmed to kill Tyrus and Danielle. The only issue was Tyrell was an empty vessel and had a limited time to be in the earth realm. His task was to take Tyrus' soul so he could live forever. Tyrus spent every night trying to come up with a plan to get rid of the evil demon and his minions because he could see that Daniela was starting to become weak. The tips of her hair were becoming red, meaning the Iblis' power was growing. Sunlight, he said, knowing that for sure they had never appeared in the daylight and would hiss to the end of their battle as the sun would come up. He happily explained his idea to the girl and wanted to give her all the possibilities before the curse ends her life. She agreed with her friend, but collapsed from the soul leading curse. Tyrus knew that her time was limited and he hurried to get her to a safe place. It was watched the sun go down as witchcraft and Terrell set off into the city. But Tyrus appeared in front of them to keep them in one place. Face it, your human is done for, it was said walking to him, but keeping a good distance, not knowing what the truck could do. Not for long, Tyrus powered up his engine and ran over Witchcraft, who vanished into dust and damaging Terrell's face. The evil truck hit back, but it didn't do much damage. Tyrus's damage was too powerful and made him shatter. Looks like Terrell can't take damage like a real truck. Hmm, I need to get rid of you fast, 
it was used a dark power against Tyrus, but he didn't realize that his power was weakened from his minions being destroyed. He had forgotten his power was still limited. Your time is up. Tyrus ran into the tall demon, causing him to break his devil mask. Like any monster, the demon yelled in defeat, which scared Tyrus for a moment. He couldn't believe it was done. He waited for the sun to rise, and the demon had turned to dust as if it were a vampire. The truck took a moment to realize that everything was over, but he didn't change back into human, which left him disappointed. But at least he was able to have a second chance at life. He drove back to check on Daniela, who seemed to be back to normal. Her hair was no longer red, and the curse was gone, which is what really mattered. Thanks, buddy. The end.